Hi class, in this video I will demonstrate how to add links and embed video into Canvas discussions. By being clear about your outside sources, it will help you to avoid plagiarism. Adding links and other embedded content into discussions can help you with this by leading your reader to your source with one click. When editing a discussion post or reply, the Rich Text Editor gives you a variety of options for embedding links and other content. Here is a demo of how to add links to a discussion post. The Canvas Rich Text Editor completes some linking automatically. At times, this is handy. For example, if you paste a full URL into your discussion post, Canvas will automatically hyperlink it. This can be helpful, particularly if you are creating a formal reference list that requires full URLs in your text. However, this can also be problematic for a couple of reasons. First, any of your classmates who have a visual impairment and use a screen reader to help them understand the content of a web page, including Canvas discussion posts, will have to listen to the entire URL read back to them by this software. As you know, some URLs are quite long. This is an inconvenience for students using screen readers and is a practice that is considered problematic for them. For that reason alone, it is usually a better idea in discussion posts to add your links in the text you have written. You've seen this before. When you are able to click on words or images from the text, usually blue and or underlined words, in order to visit a relevant web page. There is much more to creating web content that is accessible for all students. As an academic or professional who creates web content or other documents containing links, you will be expected to learn these skills, so get in the habit now. Second, Canvas will also automatically embed YouTube videos when a YouTube link is pasted into the browser. As you can see, the YouTube video was automatically embedded and viewable once the post uh, reply was completed and submitted. At times, this can be helpful if an embedded video is your goal. However, if you want your YouTube video to be accessed only when a reader clicks the text you have written, you will have to take an extra step in the linking process. To add links to text, look for the rich text editing icon that depicts a chain. With your cursor, when you hover over it, it reads link to URL. With your cursor, highlight the text that you want to hyperlink, then link, then click the link to URL chain icon. From there, it is easy to copy the URL you want to add to your post from the web page, then paste the web address URL into the field available. 
Then click the Insert Link button to complete the process. If it is a YouTube video that you want to link to, copy the link, highlight the text, paste the link, and then make sure to click the Disable Inline Previews for this link in order to prevent the video from embedding. And then click Insert Link. Now you can see the access to the video is uh, via a hyperlink rather than an embedded video. Here is a demo of how to embed videos or other online content to a discussion post. What if you do want to embed the video so your classmates can watch it in your discussion post without visiting the YouTube page? No problem. With YouTube, this is easy. Just strategically place the URL for your YouTube video and it will automatically embed into your post. If your video is from a source other than YouTube, you will have to manually do this using the rich text editor options in Canvas. You can see when I pasted the Vimeo link, video link into the discussion post, it did not automatically embed and instead just created a regular hyperlink. So we'll try out some of the Canvas options instead. There are a few options for this. You can embed content, including video, using the Insert Edit Media icon. Paste your embed code below in the box provided. Embed video using Canvas compatible apps such as Films on Demand, which is a library database featuring documentaries and educational films. No library card login is required when using this tool in CSM Canvas courses. Click the link, search for videos, Select your video and embed into your post. The same process can be used with additional external tools from the menu. You can search YouTube, Vimeo, Khan Academy, again, Films on Demand, etc., in order to uh, find the video that you need. Finally, you can embed a recording of yourself or upload a video or audio file by using the Record Upload Media option. Just follow the prompts and instructions there in order to upload, a, upload or record media. Thank you.